Hello viewers, hope you all are doing good. Today's lesson, we are going to talk about two topics. First one is note values, second one is time signatures. Okay, as we are doing two topics in one single class, don't think that those are all very small topics. Actually, both are huge topics, but we are not going to do the entire thing. We are going to learn only the basics so that easily you can understand the basics and you can uh, go for the practical lessons okay first one note values value means measuring the note whatever note you are playing we have to measure for that uh, things say for uh, distance we measure it in kilometers how many kilometers like that like here in music we have measurement values called as beats and bars first we'll talk about this beats let's see what symbol is used to denote one beat okay say this oval kind of thing oval shaped thing this is called as a note head this note head will be placed on the stem to show what note it is already we did this during uh, seeing the lesson staff and notes in that where if you place this note on the first line what will be the name if you place this note on the first space what will be the name those things we discussed in the previous classes um, up next to that now we are talking about the value so this kind of black note head along with that you will have a line called as stem a black note head with the stem its value is the symbol name is crotchet name of the symbol is crotchet and its value is one crotchet beat one crotchet beat or you can call it as count also one count simply while playing we can call it the one count two count like that okay this is the uh, value symbol for one beat one crotchet bit theoretically while telling you have to write means you have to write like this one crotchet bit the next one for two beats what will be the symbol same kind of oval note head but it is not black it is not black think that white head this is a white head white head with a stem this symbol is called as name of this symbol is called as menem name of the symbol is minim and its value is two crotchet beats or counts two crotchet beats or counts and then the next value will be same kind of white color note head along with this you will have a dot white note head same like the minimum along with that you will have a dot so this is called as a dotted minimum dotted minimum a yeah, minimum with a dot so its value is three crotchet beats i'll play and show you how we tell some how long you have to hold okay so just understand the symbols one count crotchet for two counts or two beats minimum its symbol is white head black head for one count white head for two counts white head with dot all these three has stems also along with it no now see the next symbol white note head but no stem at all white note head without a stem this symbol is called as semi brief name of the symbol is semi brief and its value is four crotchet beats you can call it as counts also three counts like that while writing theoretically means you have to write like this two crotchet beats three crotchet beats like that now this is fourth one 
along with this you can uh, learn one more symbol see this is a crochet bead isn't it i told that this is for one count if you split this as two halves if you split this crochet bead has as two parts you will get two halves this is one this is one count if you split it into two parts you will get half two half counts which are called as quavers which is called as you will get two quavers but mostly whenever you see in music um, if you are getting two quavers together it will be written like this it will be joined together it will be joined together okay if you are getting one single quaver it will be written like this if you are getting more number of quavers it will be joined this line is called as beam line this and all will uh, do it briefly in the upcoming classes so this is for half count same kind of note head dark note head with the stem and then this thing is called as tail or flag okay you can think like tail tail will be easy to remember okay this is the symbol's name is quaver quaver and its value is half crochet beat or half count these are the basic note values which you have to learn to start the beginner lessons you got it i'll explain one more time a black head black head with a stem black head with a stem is called as crochet name of the symbol is crochet and its value is one crochet beat a white head white head with a stem name of the symbol is minim and its value is two crochet beads a white head with a dot white head same like minim with a dot so it is called as name of the symbol is dotted minim dotted minim and its value is three crochet beads this one you can remember easily there will not be any stem at all white head white head without a stem just only the note head will be there that is called as semi brief symbols name is semi brief and its value is four crochet beads and along with that you have more uh, minute uh, note values also are there semi quaver demi semi quaver like that it goes and then lot of dotted notes are there dotted crochet dotted quaver and all those things we'll learn in the future classes this is enough if you know about this and practice this so that you will get some clarity about musical note values and then we will go on to the next level small uh, note values and all For, uh, after this i will uh, play and show you just i will play and show you how it sounds if it is a one crochet beat how it will sound means see some uh, counting is going like one two three four one two three four like that the counting is going means for one count means one one that's all crotchet crotchet means it will sound that much only for one bit whatever note it may be it's sounding its value will be like one that's all it's over then if it is for two counts means it will be little more lengthy minimum means two counts so i'll play a minimum now one two see i hit the note for count number while i'm counting one i hit the note and then i'm letting the note to ring till i say two okay one two you understood so one two this is a minimum which sounds for two crochet beats the next one is dotted minimum it should sound for three counts one two three if you are hitting on count number one one you are hitting means till count number two and three it should sound so one two three after that you have to cut the sound if you cut after three counts you should stop the note ringing otherwise it will become four counts let's see about this semi brief four counts so one two three four one two three four one 
two three four so i made this uh, note sound for four counts the next one is quaver within a beat you have to play two notes this and all uh, will be little tough for the beginners to understand we can understand while we start playing songs so within a beat you have to play two notes one with while saying one itself i'm hitting two times one it will be counted as one and one and two and three and four and like that the countings will happen those things will learn in the next level classes so this is all about the note values let's go to the next topic time signatures so our next topic is time signatures our next topic is time signatures whatever tune whatever tune you play it will come and fit under one particular time signature there are a lot of time signatures like two four three four 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 six eight nine eight two two three two like that okay a lot of time signatures are there and then one more thing while pronouncing this don't pronounce it as two by four three by four just to separate both the uh, numerals i have drawn a slash between them don't pronounce it as two by four three by four that is a wrong uh, method uh, it will give a different meaning in mathematics it, this is nothing mathematics this is related to uh, music so always pronounce it as two four three four 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 six eight like that you have to pronounce okay a uh, lot of time signatures are there as i told we are going to do the main basic ones which are so more important to start with okay the first one is four 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 means you would have noticed the bottom number is somewhere uh, you are having eight here you are having two okay just leave this first we'll talk about the time signatures which are having four in the bottom the bottom number shows the type of beat here in music the bottom number is four means it denotes a crotchet beats four means crotchet beat four means crotchet last class we uh, the previous session we uh, studied note values so you know the note values crotchet one count minimum two counts dotted minimum three counts semi brief is for four counts and we learnt about quaver also half count so here according to this time signature the bottom number is four means the type of beat is a crotchet beat bottom number shows the type of beat here 8 2 is there 8 means quaver 2 means minims that and all we'll do it in the next classes top number shows number of beats number of beats beats in a bar music will not be written continuously it will be separated as bars they'll put lines bar lines so 4 4 means what is the type of beat crotchet first one is number of beats 4 4 means 4 crotchet beats in a bar 4 crotchet beats in a bar so if you see if you see a 4 4 time signature if you have any musical uh, uh, piece and all you can book and all you can take it out and you can have a look on it you can uh, <coughs> see this thing you can understand clearly four four means four means number of beats bottom four shows type of beat type of beat is here it is a crotchet so four crotchet beats in a bar so in each bar there will be four crotchet beats in each bar there will be four crotchet beats one two three four one two three four one two three four like that it will go but it is not necessary compulsory four crotchet beats alone should be there okay think like that <clears throat> hundred rupees hundred rupees means 
it is not only 100 rupees one full note it can be 250 rupees also 50 plus 50 otherwise it can be 520 rupees otherwise it can be 10 10 rupees so anyway its value total value should be 100 100 rupees means it may be in any form so here 4 4 4 crochet beads in a bar means it can be like single single crochet bead or it can be like this also see here i put a minimum you know that minimum is for two counts so one this will sound like for count number one if you are hit the minimum you have to hold it till count number two on count number three you will get another minimum it is not compulsory a minimum will be there here you may get two crochets also so total two plus two you are getting four crochet bits. minimum is equal to two crochet beads another minimum another two crochet beads so two plus two four crochet beads let's say it may be like this also for three counts so along with that one so if you play dotted uh, hit on the first beat this note should ring for another two counts one two three three counts so on the fourth beat will be having a analysis. nothing should be left blank it should be occupied four crochet beads should be there in a uh, next level lessons we may have rest also those things will do it later first understand just how to fill each bar with four crochet beads and then it can be one single one single note also semi brief semi brief is for four counts so if you hit semi brief one no on the first beat it should be lengthened and held till four so one two three four one two on one you are hitting one two three four one two three four on one you are hitting and you are holding one two three four one two three four okay this is how the four four time signature will sound how notes will be written in four four time signature in between you can split the notes also we'll do only the basics so you understood how a uh, musical tune will be there in four four let's talk about three four three four means now you understood that what does it mean bottom number four shows what is the type of beat always whenever bottom number is four means you should think about the crotchet bottom number is four means crotchet how many crotchets how many crotchets top number shows the number of beats three crotchet beats in a bar so in each bar you'll have three crotchet beats it may be of any form it may be in any form a minimum and then a crotchet two plus one three otherwise it can be like upside down also first first you'll have one count and then you'll have two count and then last bar dotted minimum dotted minimum is for three counts so in each bar you are having three crotchet beats simple so next two four 2 4 means in each bar you'll have in each bar you'll have two crochet beads that's all it can be in you know, again so, and then it can be like that in each bar you'll be having two crochet beads if you are having quavers it will be like the two half counts means it will look like this whatever it is 2 4 means 2 crochet beads in a bar 1 2 1 2 this will be 1 and 2 1 2 3 4 means 3 crochet beads in a bar 1 2 3 1 2 minimum is for 2 counts and then 3 1 for count number 1 you are playing a note 2 and 3 you are playing a two count note this is for three counts one two three 
okay so this is all about uh, time signatures this much uh, information is enough to start our beginner level lessons practical lessons we'll see in the next upcoming classes bye